Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... This episode was brought to you by The Mythwits, a geek pop culture talk show. Every week we interview an industry guest and make with the funny. Check us out at Mythwits.com, YouTube, and iTunes, and watch us live every Monday night at 9.30 p.m. EST. Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games again, and we are talking about Robotech RPG Tactics again. Alright, so, uh, if you are unaware, uh, they have posted two... Uh, updates for their Kickstarter and on their Kickstarter page in rapid succession. The first one being, hey, everything's in production. Hey, stuff is getting shipped to us and we're going to have start being able to stuff uh, ship stuff out to the actual Kickstarter backers. Awesome. Great. So the other side of that coin is they also want to be able to sell stuff uh, at Gen Con. And that's where the contention comes in. Here's the situation. They have insisted for very long periods of time that the backers would be taken care of first and first and foremost, and that uh, we would get our stuff all before anything gets sold to the public and non-backers. Be that to actual stores, be that to just you know selling them at conventions, whatever the case may be. And that's where things are getting dicey, because as you may have read or may not have read. Um, they will begin shipping beforehand, but not even close to anyone's going to be getting their stuff on time before Gen Con. Now, they're only taking a couple hundred units of several products. The main box, um, you know, the main box set, the rule book, and uh, the expansion pack for the Destroids, the Regult uh, artillery pods and tactical pods, and the uh, Glog. So they're not taking a whole lot, but they're taking some stuff. And they're saying, listen, we're going to sell it at the con. We need to sell it at the con because it's good publicity, it's good business, and everything else. But the problem is, is they're not fulfilling the promise that they made, or at least the assurance. If you won't want to even call it a promise, let's call it an assurance that they made to the backers. And that's where the problems are really just stemming from. Uh, I am a backer in case you have not figured out from the thousands of posts that we have done previously about uh, the Kickstarter for our uh, Robotech RPG Tactics. Uh, I have been frequently asked what is my point of view on this whole situation. In fact, I'm actually making this at the request of several of the backers who said, I wonder what the heck Dave says about this, and this is my reply. My reply is this. I'm not a fan of the fact that they're doing this. I think that it's it's dirty pool. Uh, I'm 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 honestly finding it a little bit distasteful that they're like, well, we can't fulfill everybody, but we're going to sell some stuff anyway. I also find it a little bit out of place that they're claiming that, um, in addition to, um, uh, I find it a little bit out of place that in addition to selling the stuff, they're telling us that, well, because we're selling only a few items, it's not going to affect anything. There's a couple hundred people that aren't getting their items because you're selling stuff at the convention. You're literally taking stuff out of the warehouse that would normally be aimed for us as backers and is actually going to somebody else. On the other side of the coin, the problem is also that we have to look at it from an actual business standpoint. As a game designer, and as a guy who's worked in the gaming field for as long as I have, you have to understand that going to a, a convention, especially one like Gen Con, and not having anything to sell is horribly detrimental. Um, as a guy who constantly brings stuff that I can demo, but I can't sell because we're not in production yet for either Dragon Chess or Rampaging Jotun, I understand the real hardship that comes with well I have this game but I can't sell it to you and I can't sell it to you because I don't have it well the thing is teasing people with the playthrough is great to a point because eventually people are going to be like well this is great I've seen this before but I know it's not there the other problem that I'm actually finding with this entire situation is he's also claiming that Anybody who does not vote counts as a yes. Because they're actually asking for the vote. I'm sorry. Let me backtrack. They're asking for the votes and the approval of backers in order to um, know whether or not they can do this. This is the second part of the second update. 
Um, it's nice that they're asking our permission, but let's be really honest. If you're saying, well, anyone who doesn't vote counts as a yes, that's not how democracy works. If that was how it would work, elections would work way different in the United States. Let's face it. If the Republicans could figure out a way that they could go, hmm, if you don't vote, it's a vote for us, elections would have gone completely different. Same thing for the Democrats, same thing for Libertarians, Independents, Green Party, whatever the hell you are, Tea Party, whatever. My point is this. If you're counting a no vote as a yes, you are not using democracy. You're not even close. What you're hoping is that enough people either miss or are unable to actually reply in time that you can just say, well, you know, nobody replied or not enough people replied, so we're counting them as yeses so we can do what we want. That's not democracy. It's, it's really just dirty pool. And if you guys just want to play dirty pool, why even bother? And you're bothering because then you can make it look like the guise of, well, we, we gave you a chance to, vote, to speak up. Yeah, giving us a chance, and especially with limited notice, not that great. I think this notification only went up yesterday. And yesterday, I mean on Saturday. So, you're giving people Saturday, Sunday, which is a weekend, which if they're in front of their computers, oh my god. And you're giving them until Monday to actually make the reply? That's a lot to ask. That's, in fact, it's not even just a lot to ask. It's, it's not right. So, I realize you guys are in a time crunch because Gen Con's right around the corner, but I think that this is just a big fat PR fiasco that's going to blow up in your face and it's actually going to, long term, uh, hurt Palladium's reputation. And having read many of the comments uh, that are on the actual Palladium uh, forums and uh, on Daka Daka and on uh, the actual RPG uh, tactics. Uh, uh, threads, the reputation is 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 going quickly down the tubes. Um, it's unfortunate, especially for such a long-standing company. But this looks like it's the way it is. So, um, this is my interpretation of the situation. My vote for yes or no is, I think they should do it because honestly, at this point, they're going to do it anyway. So, might as well just give them a yes. And not only that, it's a case of. Uh, it's, it, the money that they're going to get from selling stuff at the convention will hopefully help to fully fund um, the Wave 2 stuff and all the everything everything else that we still have coming to us. Though I would personally love to see the actual accounting books that go into this. Because we gave them over a million dollars. 1.4 million dollars. And it's all just evaporated. I realize that there were problems. I realize that there are internal strife. I realize that there's, you know, communication errors and horrible communications with the backers. But the problem is, is that through all this, we've, we've kind of stuck with it, but our animosity has been growing and growing steadily. And there has not been one really good thing that we can linchpin as, okay, this was the time that it turned around from being... Uh, very against Palladium to very pro Palladium. Um, it's actually very funny. I've had a lot of people actually comment to me about you know my, my viewpoint on this whole situation as it's evolved, and they want well, why didn't you research Palladium? And I, I, I literally my reply is one, it's the first Kickstarter I've ever backed, and two, it's a case of my thought was Palladium has been around um, probably longer than I have. And it's definitely been longer uh, around longer than I've been involved in the actual industry side of gaming. They are a long-standing company. They're still around. They're still functioning. My thought was, okay, they've been around this long. They've got to know what they're doing. I don't have to worry. That's obviously not the case. Um, I realize that they're venturing into new territory because this is a miniatures game, not a role-playing game, so it's not just publishing a book. It's actually making miniatures and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But... I feel like there's a serious disconnect going on here. Um, so I think the long and the short of it is my answer to Palladium is going to be a begrudgingly yes. Though I think that you really owe the backers 
a lot more than just a can we do this. I think you owe a pretty much a, the biggest apology you can put out there because we have we've been going through all of this with you and we still are feeling utterly unappreciated and it's a pretty strong sentiment. Um, at this point, I'm looking at it as we're finally getting to the end. You guys are finally getting things into production. So hopefully we'll get the stuff soon. Hopefully before August is over, I will have stuff in hand. I'm actually hoping that you guys will actually make sure that we get our stuff, you know, in that really first wave of shipment. If for no other reason than uh, the fact that we can uh, uh, start reviewing it, going through it, and seeing if it was truly worth our while. So um, I realize that this is going to be a little bit of a harsh review. Uh, but I am still eager to see what comes out of this whole RPG tactics fiasco, um, positive, negative, or otherwise. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we can actually start reviewing it, going through it, assembling it, and playing it, and really put going doing a solid playthrough. I'm thankful to all our backers and all our viewers who have watched all our videos regarding RPG tactics, uh, who have watched the playthrough from Gen Con last year, the ones who actually saw the live. Uh, game that we did at Gamers Realm uh, back in May. Uh, thank you for that. And the fact that we have also done uh, countless reviews and updates of what's been going on and our opinions thereof. Uh, we try to stay as, as candid as we can. Sometimes we're positive, sometimes we're negative. But the problem is, is that if we start to pander and lie uh, about our points of view to about you know about these related topics we lose credibility. So there's something to be said for we have to be pretty upfront about what we're thinking about this entire situation. So uh, for this and for this uh, quick pickup video of Gamers on Games, uh, this is Dave uh, signing out.